Hi guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and I'm doing an update on my big boy bin. I've taken all the, the top paper off, mostly, and uh, we're gonna check on them. It's been two weeks. If I remember correctly, I put everything in the middle here and uh, tried to rebury it. So let's see what we've got. Some very, uh, Very wiggly worms. Okay, see a little potato peel there. Let's see if I can dig a little deeper. Oh, coffee filter. Let's see more coffee filter. Sprouts of some sort. Coffee filter. Okay, come. All right, now we're just gonna have to dig deep. Looks like the blue worms are thriving in here. I don't know if you saw that or not, but he just did like backflips across the whole bin. All right, let's dig into the pile of stuff here. Feels squishy. Oh, there's one of my bags. Ah, just, there we go. All right, so the, not a huge worm ball, but they are certainly still in something in here. Still see quite a bit of evidence of potato peels Mostly everything else is kind of unrecognizable, except for the potato pills, which seem to be going a little bit slower. But other than that, I mean, they really, they're making castings in here. This is a mix of European nightcrawlers, red wigglers, and blue worms. This doesn't smell like anything. I mean, we put a lot of food in there. And I say we, because you guys were with me, right? That counts. But you can tell they've already turned this into compost. Let's see, found another something. And it must be some kind of citrus. I can smell it. But at least the, the moisture has straightened out because this was really dry the last time I got in here. And after I turned off the camera, I did put in three gallons of water. I also put in more, uh, more topping, if you want to call it topping. Well, there's a very help, healthy, wiggly Euro. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna save him for the the bin that I'm trying to make just European night crawlers. So I'm gonna snag that one and put them in my container. Yep, found one. Nope, seem to have found another cache of vegetables. I think that's still the turnip and uh, potato. Dig along the side here. Have to take... But yeah, they're really working through it. Here's another one. No discernible web or, you know, worm ball, but I think I will take this little tray, put all of the food that I'm finding in random places and put it in there. So still digging around, finding avocado ends. That looks like particle board and yet they're eating it. I don't know how I feel about that. I will probably put this um, compost in the flower bed yeah, probably won't put this in with the vegetables. Uh, mango pit. They haven't quite got into it yet, but it looks like it's growing right there. I think that's a red worm. Nope, oh, there's another good euro. I tell you, those things are starting to look like sausages. They're just staying pretty stout. It's weird. If anybody thinks, hey, this is a great idea, well, I hope you're 6'4", six, 6'5", six, if it is, because uh, with me, I'm, I don't know if you can see, but I'm only getting a couple feet in here, and the bin's not, you know, full by any means. But for the most part, I'm really only reaching the top quarter. See, the worms are starting to play in these bags. Maybe that's encouraging. Maybe the worms will help them, I don't know, return back to the environment. It's highly likely that you know, the bed that didn't have on any, you know, any directions or anything. Like this will absolutely be gone in three months or something like that. So of course I'm like, now's good for me. You should disappear now. We'll get the worms on the job and maybe they can speed it up some for me.
They are wiggly. I know there was a lot more food that I buried than this, so they've done a really, really good job. And we had that big chunk of celery thing and a lot of other things stuck in there, so. The big boy is doing a good job. He's a good boy. Ooh, those are pretty. All right, guys, be pretty for camera. Yeah. So I'm happy about the moisture now. So one problem solved. What is this? Um, I got nothing. I don't know what it is. Some kind of paper thing. All right. Well, this is my from work bag where everybody puts their coffee grinds and apple peels and banana peels in here from their lunches. And then once a week I take it home. So there's orange peel and apple. By far way more coffee grounds than anything else. I'm going to upend that and bust open that apple. I mean, it has been frozen, so it shouldn't be too hard for them to get into, but um, apparently somebody must have had tortillas at work. All right, so then we're just going to cover it all up. I'm going to flatten it out, stick that in. Here's another... Yeah, that's a completely different one of those Tivana tea bags. And it also has the little critters in it, so kids are using it for a playroom. That's fine. If you can see, I'm gonna put you, I'm gonna put you in the bin. And so I've got 10, 10 inches on top, and that is where I'm gonna dump all of the, the paper. And this is basically how I keep all of the gnats outside things from invading my worm bin. I think in one of the videos you saw me putting in two full buckets. Um, but you can see now that there's, there's probably only like five inches on the top that's not paper. Apparently there was somebody in the paper in that bucket. That is it for the big boy this week. As you can see, there he is on the ground. And there's the top of him. Okay, well, thank you very much for hanging out with me and my worms. And uh, if you don't mind, give me a thumbs up and poke the subscribe button if you are not already a subscriber. And if you are a subscriber, thank you very much. I appreciate sharing my, my worm hobby and learning as much from everybody as I try and make sure that everybody learns what I know, even if it's um, failures. <laughs> but this one is uh, its a structural failure for me because it's not very easy for me to maintain. But they're healthy, they're happy, and they certainly are doing their job. All right, guys. Well, you guys have a good night. 